hello 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 everyone hello family welcome back once again to mama ninja kitchen um today we are at the mama ninja art studio and we're going to be doing some creative food art arrangement so guys welcome to one and to all to today's episode of creative food arts and if you are new here my name is Mila Ade I am the host and creator of Mama Ninja's Kitchen so guys welcome to an amazing life of adventure at Mama Ninja's Kitchen it is everyday amazing adventures you will never have a dull moment I promise you that. Take a moment, spruce around on Mama Niger's channel and you will find a plethora of videos on entertainment, exotic, exotic cuisines, interior decor, as well as creative food art. Guys, you will be amazed. Be sure to leave a comment when you visit so that I will know that you were around and I can definitely extend and return back the love to you. And please, while you are in the house, consider becoming a member of this amazing family. We are adventurers and we love to enhance our quality day living to an elevated glam style living. Thank you so much for being here today and please make yourself at home so guys today I'm going to be working on some fruits arrangements using these two votive glasses so the votive glasses that I'm using these are clear glasses guys it doesn't have any penny or just kind of crackle cracked glass okay but it is actually smooth to the surface smooth to the touch if you are trying these at home ensure that you are using votive glasses that are clear without any painting or residue that could corrupt the ability to consume the food okay so these food are edible and they can be consumed so today i'm just going to be working with some grapes so i have here in my colander already washed grapes okay i have three kinds of grapes here you can see have the the red grapes, the black, and the green grapes. So we're going to start with the red grapes. And I'm using uneven sizes, because that's how I want it. If you're using the stem with it, you wanna make sure the stem is towards the middle section, because you don't want the stem to be showing. have our layer there it's going to fill the middle of that so that is our red layer so now we're going to introduce the green grapes again using the same just line them through it's gonna turn out beautiful to say the least <laughs> it's gonna be beautiful it's gonna be presentable it's gonna be unique fruits presentation right. so now I'm just gonna fill up the top with the black grapes Is the first one that we built guys what you see about it hmm just a different way to present your fruits 
you know, rather than laying it um, on a plate or in a tray. All right, so that is one way. So we're gonna show another way. All right, the cherry tomatoes is going in, guys. Look at that pop of red color. Don't you just love that red? <laughs> I don't know, there is something with me and red. to add the black grapes to fill the bottom first so they can stand all right guys so here is our two votives of fruits. So guys, how you like it? Leave your comments. I can wait to hear from you guys. But I think this is something that I like. I would like to do this, you know? You can use this as centerpieces on your tablescapes, in your, um, for your dinner setting, you know, for indoors or outdoors, for parties, occasions, or events. It's just an intriguing way to infuse, you know, fruit decor into your party or event setup. It is quite simple and easy to create. All right, so that is part one of the show. Now I'm going to move on to the more complex part of the show and that is um, building a secondary layer at the base of this votive I'm using different kinds of um, fruit cuts okay fruit cuts and shapes um, to build an amazing um, I would say wow okay guys here is my pineapple I've created some channels into it unfortunately didn't record my back was done. Beautiful, beautiful, not even ever seen before. Okay, um, food, fruit cutter design patterns as at the base level of this votive. So, guys, um, what I have done so far, I do have here um, the cantaloupe cut up, and um, I used the cut cantaloupe in a decorative circular shape um, adjacent to each other now I am cutting up some pineapple that I'm going to be building as well at adjacent um, location to each other so guys yes it's going to turn out very beautiful and um, you don't have to necessarily cut up your fruits in this manner you know whichever way you are comfortable of cutting up your fruit this is just giving you some examples of how you can create an elaborate elegant attention calling centerpieces okay using fruits as your decorative elements At this point, I'm going to be filling up the spaces with uh, some more fruits using grapes. Um, the variety of colors of grapes that I do have, the green grapes, as well as um, the red grapes. And I have also introduced some cucumber flower and some cut up kiwis. So this is a final product, guys. Um, what would you say? How do you like it? How do you like this fruit ensemble? 
fruit centerpiece two levels fruit centerpiece we have the base level and we have the higher up votive level i don't want to put words in your mouth in your own descriptive words drop me a note let me know leave a message below what do you think about this setup is it something you like do you like the color combinations do you like the the the, the design appeal of it do you like this new decorative this is a new decorative design i've never done before it's my first time doing this design and i've never seen it anywhere else either so guys yeah what do you think about this new style um, that i put together today let me know what you think about it i think i love the colors combination i love the cut the fruit um cut ups um the design of the fruits introducing the flowers into it you know it's a win-win it just you just have everything going here the colors the fruits the flowers um the decorative appeal of it ah oh, it is breathtaking i love it i love it but i want to hear from you what do you think guys so to all my returning viewers thank you all so much for your love your support you have been there every step of the way and guys yes i appreciate each and every one of you my sus my subscribers mwah, love you love you love you guys for being there for responding to all my notifications for viewing my videos, watching my videos, dropping your comments, your words of encouragement. I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Thank you all so much. You keep the energy going, okay? You keep oiling that, um, that engine that keeps this propelling forward. So guys, I thank you. I cannot say how much I appreciate you all thank you so much for watching the new subscribers thank you for joining this family we welcome you warm-heartedly you know and i know you will have a great time being here so feel at home and enjoy yourself with all the goodies we have at your service until my next upload i say thank you all obolo Okay, we for bye bye. Mwah.